Today we're going to look at how to make our procedures more powerful by using something called a parameter. Um, so we're starting out uh, with the procedure already defined uh, that we saw before, uh, draw house. Um, and just to look at how this code works, uh, we enter the main function, we go through this loop uh, three times and we, do, we call the draw house function, uh, which down here just, just draws the house. Okay, so let's look at how that works before we change anything and it draws our, our three houses. Um, so let's change this up a little bit uh, so that we know uh, when we call draw house we may want to draw a number of houses so let's add a parameter to this procedure. Uh, so what we'll do um, is take our for loop and we'll move it down here into our draw house uh, procedure. Okay. So if we ran it as, as is, it'll do the same thing, but it's kind of limited because it will always draw three houses, right? So we want to change that so we can pick the number. So to do that, we're going to go up to our procedure prototype up here, draw house, and we're going to specify a parameter. Sometimes we call a parameter an argument. So you may hear some uh, references refer to arguments instead of parameters. Uh, so we're going to say we, we've got one parameter uh, and it's going to be called num, and it's an integer. Okay, so we're going to set a, a whole number uh, of houses, uh, and then we're going to specify the same thing uh, in our function definition down here. Uh, we're passing in num, okay, and then we need to change um, the number three here so that we're uh, stopping at whatever number's passed in, okay. Uh, the next thing we have to do is for our draw house call, uh, calling this function, we actually have to specify right here uh, that we want it to be called three times. Okay, and so now we're set up uh, in a little bit more powerful way with a parameter um, that we're going to go through however many times we pass in from the main uh, function. Okay, so let's see how this one works. We'll, we'll run it, and it does pretty much the same thing. Uh, but now, if we're the programmer from the main function, uh, all we have to do to change uh, how many houses is change that one number when we call the draw house procedure. And notice now we get four houses instead of three, so we can change that to whatever number we want um, and, and have it do uh, what we want it to do. Okay, and so that's the idea of procedures. It makes things a lot, uh, a lot easier for you later on down the road. Uh, that's a big concept in programming is code reuse uh, and in structural programming specifically uh, you do this through mainly procedures uh, and function definitions and in the long term it makes your life much much easier uh, and it's much, much easier to maintain that code um, so hopefully this will uh, help you uh, save some work and, and have an easier time uh, with C++ in the future